Hello all. So today is a really great day because President Donald Trump has signed his second travel ban to put into effect. So we all remember the last one didn't make it through so well. So uh, our President Trump has gone ahead and uh, revised his travel ban. So now he's working on it again. He has signed it today on Monday. Signed it officially in the with his little executive pen. He has signed in his second travel ban. So this one's a lot better though. He's kind of rethought it, reworked it, trying to make sure it's not going to get too much political uproar in the system and make sure no judges kind of ban it this time. So he's put a lot more thought into it. So it's really great. Um, one of the big things is he did drop Iraq out of it. So previous order did have Iraq in it. Iraq has been taken out, which is a big thing because Iraq is helping us fight the war on ISIS and ISIL, however you'd like to say it, with the other uh, Middle East going on. So it's really good, you know, because Iraq has been a big, you know, ally with the United States. So that was a big one to help solve, you know, some of the tension he got with um, some of the other members of Congress and Senate and such. They really didn't like that, you know, Iraq was on that uh, travel ban. So took away that. Second thing was he got rid of the religion system. There is no longer the religion in it. There's nothing talking about any type of Muslim religion or anything like that. It's pretty open blanket, no type of religions on there. It just pretty much bans, you know, refugees. So the new ban also um, doesn't take effect till March 16th. So it gives 10 days for agencies and the Border Patrol and different things to uh, agencies to get together to make sure they're kind of ready for this. It's not some type of blanket order that just happened overnight. So it gives them a little bit of time to prepare, which is a better, better for, you know, the whole everyone over wide. So now we won't have so all this crazy confusion at the airports. They'll have 10 days to prepare and get ready for that. So that's a big thing to help out with this next travel ban to really hopefully keep it going where it won't get stopped inside of the um, courts or held up in some type of appeals or whatever they can do to kind of keep it busy. So now there, this uh, new travel ban will block six countries, Syria. Iran, Libya, Somalia, Sudan, and Yemen. So they can't obtain visas for 90 days. The order also suspends admission of refugees in the U.S. for 120 days, directing U.S. officials to approve vetting measures for a program that is already regarding as an extremely stringent vetting process. But we got to give it a bit extra because, uh, you know, these refugees could make it through and do some damage to the United States. We're seeing a lot more of it on TV, the new 24 Legacy, all kinds of things we're talking about, you know, different people making attacks on the United States soil, so media's always going to keep pumping that up, it's always going to be in TV, movies, giving, you know, terrorists new thoughts, they can simply watch movies and help them get ideas to help uh, blow us up, so it's a good idea, you know, to definitely give that extra vetting process to some countries where there's a lot of craziness coming from. So another big part of this new travel ban is it's uh, the original order came under intense criticism and it is an attempt to bar Muslims from entering the country. And Trump's call during the campaign for Muslim ban, ban was citing court cases attacking the ban. So this is what helped, you know, with all that court cases going on. This is what kind of helped stop the last travel ban. So the new order now does not prioritize religious minorities when considering refugee admissions cases. So that's a big thing to help before the word Muslim and, you know, religion was mentioned. There is no longer any of that now. Took out all the religion to help, you know, please the court to get the religion out of the whole mix. You know, the, the administration made sure too. they also stressed after they signed this and put this new ban out that it will not target any specific religion. The target is no way targeting Muslim bans and um, they just want to make sure everyone understands that they're not trying to target Muslims. They're trying to just make our border safe and help keep bad people out. So more Americans actually support the ban than they oppose it. So, I mean, that's what, you know, you wouldn't believe that if you read all these crazy media and all everything going on in the internet and the media world. But in the truth, Reuters poll, they did a poll, and they actually found out that this poll showed that 49% strongly or somewhat agreed with the ban while only 41% strongly or somewhat disagreed. So that's 49% to 41% agree that they actually like the ban. So you got all this media going crazy. So, you know, it's a really, really close call. So the media is just really liberal. 
So you gotta remember, they're gonna really push their boards in there, and they know that the band makes news. That's why they're trying to push it out there. So, I mean, you gotta look. The polls show most people support it. You know, it's half and half. It's a really close one there. Now, there was a 10% undecided vote, so that could sway either way, but... So, I mean, you got a pretty good post. It's pretty close, and it's not like the media has where so many people are screaming against it. There is a very, very huge number of Americans that support this new band. A uh, few quotes is, you know, we love refugees, but we want only these those coming here who love us and want to assimilate into our culture and way of life. This is Debbie from Florida. Uh, Jessica from California. We need to look at our country first right now. A country without borders is no longer a country. And uh, I mean, these things just keep going on. There it really is. Helen from Washington. I'm a refugee from Latvia. Latvia, sorry. I immigrated a long time ago. I went through the right way to be selected. Get my documents, and I wish everybody would do the same. So, you know, immigrants and refugees, people that came to this country legally, really support this band because they went through the process to get it done. There is no cheap escape through here. You can't just come in any way. You really need to come in, get very right, come through the proper documents. And that's why the wall will help. That's why this band is going to help. And we got to really make sure we support Donald Trump's new band and make sure it gets... Lots of support, so go out there, support it. There's some other people supporting it. Me and my whole family support him, and we are Hispanic and Mexican, Native American, and we support Donald Trump. And this is Daniela from New Mexico. My background is not Muslim, but it's Cuban. I'm glad that Donald Trump is doing what he's doing. Robert from Texas. I really like what Trump's doing. You look at the rape crisis in Europe, I don't want that for America. James from Iowa. I feel so much safer on an airplane now. I feel so much safer walk around the United States of America. Dottie from Tennessee. So all these Americans are really supporting this band because it makes them feel safer. And sure, there's some that just, they don't want it. But the first time when something happens in the United States and everyone's crying, how did this happen? They're going to have to look to see how these people are getting in the United States. And one of the ways is they're sneaking in through all these open loopholes that you can sneak into the country. This is all Donald Trump wants to do. So he just wants to close these loopholes that are allowing people to get in the United States that could do harm. So we just got to really support Donald Trump's new band and keep it going. Got to support it. It's doing great things. Don't let it fool you. Don't let the media disturb you and scare you. The band is good. It's going to help stop a lot of bad people from getting into the United States of America. Support it if you're a citizen. Don't let it go to waste. Go out there and support your president got to give him a chance give it a chance to see how it is i mean are you really going to go to any of these countries anytime soon why does it really you know affect you i mean there's so much craziness that happens in those other countries why do you want all that craziness to come here to the united states let them deal with their own stuff we got enough problems here to deal with in our country not having to deal with extra baggage that all these other people are going to be bringing here to the united states the biggest problem with the last band was that it was really rushed it was really not well thought of it had some terms in it that just weren't very you know uh, appropriate in the courts that the courts were able to really seize on so this band's far more well thought out and it's going to be a lot harder for people to really block it. it's going to be a lot more harder for judges just to to drop it down as they did so quick on the last one because he's just really really thought about it so i'm really happy that they've really redone the second one we really look forward to it, helping to stop out some people coming into our country. So the last band got a lot of critics, you know, uh, the courts, Republicans, Democrats. A lot of people were kind of really critical about it. Even some people that, you know, have been kind of trying to jump on Trump's bandwagon. For instance, uh, Lindsey Graham, he was one of the kind of critics of the last travel ban. Today, he told reporters that I think it's going to stand legal scrutiny and it will make the country safer. It, it, it is perspective and application. It's clearly not a Muslim ban. Lawful visa holders, visas will be honored. So that's the next. That's like what really made this ban a lot. That's going to be a lot easier for it to not have so much scrutiny. Is It takes into account for visas and green hold card holders. If you're here coming on a visa that's already been obtained lawfully, you're not going to be rejected. They're going to review it. They're going to let you in most likely. It's not going to just be an immediate stop. you got to start your whole visa process again. Same way with green card holders. If you're a green card holder, you're going to be able to in the country. You can not worry about going out and visiting wherever you want to go. As soon as you come back, you're going to be able to get back in the United States. If you're a green hold carder, you are now a member and citizen of the United States. If you're a green card holder, you've gone through the proper background checks and everything, and you're good to go. So, uh, even um, 
John McCain, who was a big hypocrite of the original executive order, has he's kind of coming along on this one because he's glad Iraq went out of the order. And I told you, you know, to put Iraq and Iran in the same category is ridiculous. So taking Iraq out of there is really great because Iraq's really helped support us on our war of terror. And um, everyone's kind of coming around. It's, he's getting a lot more support on this order. He's really gone through and they really rethought this order. Even the ones that, you know, originally supported the original executive ban are still kind of on board with this one. Um, one of the original supporters, Representative Raul, Raul Labrador of Idaho, said in a statement, you know, while I believe Trump's initial order was legally sound, the impl implementation left much room for improvement. Today's revised executive order begins fulfilling President Trump's promise to put America's safety first and also ensures that our agents act uniformly at all our borders. So, you know, you just make sure everyone is on the same page this time. It's not going to be a 10-day delay, you know, to where everyone's going to get crazy. You know, they got 10 days to help make sure all these acts are implemented. Everyone will be on the same page. No one's going to be so confused as the last one. Thank you so much for watching the video. Um, you know, I really support this ban. Hopefully, we'll get a lot more Americans to support it. Don't listen to media. It's not all... Everyone's not against it. It's a very divided on this issue. As you can see, the Reuters poll shows that more Americans actually support the po support the ban than don't. So, but it's not by a big margin. It's a very slim margin. So this is a pretty evenly divided issue. It's going to stay evenly divided. See what happens. We got to just make sure we keep our borders safe. One thing for sure is President Trump is changing up things a lot. But you got to respect. He's changing the whole system. Everyone was so mad, so sick of Congress, so sick of Senate, so sick of the way, you know, our politics was being ran. Well, he's shaking it up, and the media doesn't like it. No one likes it, but the people have been screaming forever for someone to shake it up. We got a president that's shaking things up, so let's just see what happens. Don't give up yet. Keep on the ride. Keep supporting President Donald Trump. Let's just give him a chance. Let him have his acts. Let's see how he can do, you know. He doesn't do good. Four years is up. It's not going to take that long. Time flies pretty quickly. Let's give him some time here to see how he uh, can at least make some things happen. Keep shaking it up. Thank you for watching.